Hey guys, so I promised you guys some gym videos and uh, I guess the time has finally come. So let's take it away with gym video number one, numero uno. Um, I'm not I'm not sure what you guys want to see in these videos. Um, this is actually one of the first times I'm use, using Sony Vegas even, so pretty much I just do some clips together from my heavy upper body session. Um, and yeah, I guess you guys can let me know what you'd like to see in these gym videos. And what you wouldn't like to see and I can take on the feedback and hopefully make them a little bit better so to start with we are going for some heavy upper body and Stina just walked through and she's laughing at me because I'm speaking into my microphone right now looking at a gym video really funny so anyway <laughs> back to the gym video huh you've ruined my video so I'm starting with some Bent over bow by row. You can see me doing some warm up sets here. Getting heavier as we go. Okay, well, this, I think we're actually at my final form now, guys. This is 120 kilos. Pretty heavy. You can see it in my face. The absolute pain lifting this kind of weight. Oh, yeah. Squeeze. Oh, you want to really squeeze that back at the top. Getting that good squeeze in the upper body. Barbell, barbell bent over row is a great compound exercise. Gives you that big back. I did this workout a couple of days ago and I can still feel my upper, upper back today so I can definitely tell you it's been working. This is a good exercise to start off with as well because the warm up sets let you warm up pretty much your whole upper body, your arms, your shoulders, your back. So we do three sets of this, at three sets of five at, at the peak, at the 120 kilos. The face is getting extremely red there, the facial expressions are coming out. And yeah, that's the three sets done. So. Moving on to the second exercise we're going to do. Oh, we've got a little thumbs up there. Yeah, guys. Yep. Really nice. We've got pull-ups. Now, my buddy only recorded me doing one set of pull-ups, but there's actually I actually do two sets in this workout. Um, pull-ups are extremely difficult for me. Um, I weigh 114 kilos right now, so the body weight to strength ratio has always been a bit of an issue at that kind of weight. Um, I mean, I've been lifting now for a total of three years, guys, and... Up until, let's say, maybe in the last year, I wasn't really able to do many pull-ups, if any at all. I remember I remember struggling so hard for the first year to even do one pull-up. So this kind of feels like progress, seeing me myself doing like seven or eight there. So yeah, I did the second set of that, and then I'm moving on to rack-ups now. This is a similar exercise to pull-ups. It works the same kind of muscles, same kind of compound muscles, so back, shoulders, and arms at the same time. Again, I did two sets of this, so... Um, yeah, just pull myself up to the Smith machine now. This is my second set, so you guys can probably see I'm quite tired already. I should probably mention that I did this workout on Friday, which is after a full week of work. You know, raiding on Thursday as well, guys, going to bed at half 11, getting up at 6 doesn't help, obviously. And that's going to be my excuse for this part of the video. This is the, this is the bench press. So this is me just doing a warm-up set here. So this is about halfway through the workout, so I've done three exercises already, I'm moving on to the bench press. And yep, here we go. This is a warm-up set, so I think that's that's a 25 and a 10 on the on the bar right there, so that should be uh, 90 kilos. Just doing a quick warm-up before going heavy. Just want to make sure my chest and shoulders are feeling good. I mean, the bench, bench press is always the exercise that, I mean, whenever anyone asks you what you lift at the gym, I mean, this is what they're going to ask. I mean... Unfortunately, I feel as if my bench is kind of lagging behind my deadlift and squat right now. But I'm, I'm just going to have to work a little bit harder to get it up there. It could be because my shoulders and arms are just not strong enough, rather than just the chest. So you can see me here doing 110 kilos, or 240 pounds for you guys in the US. Got my little spotter there, my little buddy. Did like three or four. I think I'm really struggling on the fourth or fifth rep there, guys. Which is disappointing for me. You can see how red my face is there. It's like a fucking tomato. Excuse my language. But, yeah, I was kind of disappointed with that. I I mean, if this had been like a weekend morning after a good sleep or whatever, um, I could have probably done like probably six reps at 110. That's what my standard kind of is right now. So I dropped the weight here to 100. Swapped out one of the 10s for a 5 on each side. And I'm going to push out a couple of sets of 6. Still felt really heavy, actually. Um, but, I mean, it felt good. Sometimes it's not about the weight that you're lifting, but more about how it feels. And I got a good squeeze on this on this exercise. I 
Yeah, and my spotter buddy just ready to, you know, help me pull that bar in. And the third set we're going for now. I'm not sure how much he could actually help me if, you know, if that bar wasn't going up, but I mean, it, was, it, it wasn't that heavy, so... What to say about this, man? Hoping I can show you guys some better bench press in a, in a future video. So now we go on to um, we go into like another chest exercise. This is a bit of a variation of the bench press. This is the hammer press. Again, it's it's just this. So this is maybe my, this is my fifth exercise in the program. It's just to get that little extra squeeze in the chest. You can see me going down. See, you can see you can really see that squeeze in the top in the upper part of the chest. And when I bring it to the top, you can see the squeeze in the middle of the chest as well. Really feeling it on that chest muscles. I actually didn't do any flies in this uh, in this workout, so this this is my second and only and only chest chest exercise. My legs getting a bit shaky there, guys. I'm not sure if that guy in front of me knew I was recording, but he <laughs> he instantly turned his bench the other way so that he wouldn't be in the video. I guess a little bit awkward, but yep. And this is just a second set of the same exercise, guys. I did three sets of this total, just showing you guys two of them. I think the weight at this point is uh, 30 kilogram dumbbells, so not nothing too heavy. But like I said, getting a good stretch, doing some good reps. I think my buddy just picked up the camera there. He's getting close, showing you that increasingly red face. There we go. So yeah, at this point, I mean, I'm already feeling pretty tired, right? I'm moving on to the sixth set now, or the sixth exercise even. This is uh, going to be dumbbell shoulder press. I'm just sitting there, you know, psyching myself up. This is the point where I'm basically thinking to myself, do I want to be a winner? Do I want to be a loser? And of course, you got to go with the winner, right? Throwing those weights up and let's go. So obviously, you can see that the bench is a little bit. Um, more backwards, so to speak, rather than upright. That means it's obviously going to be hitting a little bit of my upper chest. I mean, the more you curve your back as well, the more this turns into a chest exercise rather than a shoulder exercise. But I mean, as it gets harder, it's only natural that your back starts to arch a little bit, unfortunately. You've really got to be careful with that, though, because you can obviously injure yourself um, doing it like this. So I'm just going to show you guys another set of this as well. I did three sets of the shoulder press total. So this is the second set. I guess I should, I should tell you guys that this was filmed in my corporate gym so you can see why, you can kind of see or understand why the weights room is so small. There isn't that many uh, big lifters, so to speak, in the company, so. Squeezing out that shoulder press. You'll notice, the guys, that there's a lot of compound exercises in this heavy upper body program. Um, and yeah, I mean, compound exercises are the best for overall muscle growth. You can do isolation exercises alongside these, these compounds, obviously, to target individual muscles, but compound exercises are generally targeting multiple muscles at the same time. And that's the that's the kind of exercises where you're going to make the biggest growth. So this is at the end of my workout now, guys, where I'm basically finishing off upper body with burning out the arms. So I'm going to do some triceps now. This is just some uh, skull crushers. One of my favorite tricep exercises, actually. If you feel some pain in your elbows, you can you can avoid putting your arms completely straight at the top and just keep that slight bend. If you lock them out, you sometimes feel a bit of pain. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorite exercises for putting out the triceps. This and this and cables, but I didn't actually do cables this time. So I did about three, three, four sets of this. I think this is one of my warm-up sets we're actually watching right now, guys. So basically, it's almost. With some of these exercises that I do, it's almost like I'm doing a pyramid set. So I'm starting off with relatively heavy weight, but not my max weight. So that that's like a warm up, so to speak. So I was just warming up on the previous set, and now I'm going for the max weight at this time. This is not really heavy for me, but at the end of a workout, after I've been in the gym for maybe an hour and 15 minutes now, this felt very challenging. I mean, if I did this at the start of my workout, I could probably do much, much heavier than this. But I mean, the arms are really just getting the burn there. You can see the amount of sweat on my back. 
This is again just trying to burn out the arms guys. Some bicep curls, good old dumbbell bicep curls. I mean at this point I'm not gonna lie I was so tired so there's probably some issues with the form or whatever but I was feeling it in the arms put it that way my, my biceps are feeling really tight just really trying to get that squeeze at the top. Bit of Gold's Gym going on, love that t-shirt. Getting those curls in. Curls for the girls. How many curls am I going to do here, guys? Alright, we're done. We're done with those with that set. Just going to really squeeze the biceps now, getting a bit of a flex in. You know you've had a really good workout when you can't even touch your shoulders with your fingers when you squeeze. Like if you're sitting at your desk now, you should be able to do it no problem, but once you get a bit of a pump in the biceps, it becomes really difficult to actually touch your shoulder with your fingers. And right to finish off, guys, we've got the one arm flex. There we go. Squeeze. So yeah, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me some feedback, comments, likes, and yeah, let me know what you guys want to see in the future gym videos. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe. See you guys on stream. Thanks. Bye.